Parking is in effect today citywide. Be safe. Don't text and drive. The head chef at a restaurant in Grand Central Terminal has been missing for days now. It is a mystery his co-workers say has many people freaking out. CBS and New York's Natalie Dedrich is there with more. Natalie. Well, good morning, Alex. Friends and family tell us that Chef Andrea Zamperoni hasn't answered any calls or texts in four days now. The last time that co-workers saw him was the end of his shift Saturday night at 9 p.m., and then he didn't show up for work on Monday at 1 p.m., and that's when they got really worried. There's an empty seat at the head table at Cipriani Dolce Grand Central since police say chef Andrea Zamperoni disappeared four days ago. By when the time he didn't show up to work at one in the afternoon, we started, you know, we really started to worry. Everyone in the company is freaking out. We're talking about a globally run company. We have thousands of people right now freaking out for Andrea. Cipriani's management got worried when the 33-year-old didn't show up for his scheduled shift Monday afternoon. Zamperoni, who was about 5 foot 11, around 200 pounds, was last seen that morning, police say, at his apartment on 74th Street in Elmhurst, Queens. Friends and co-workers tell us he's worked at the restaurant for more than a decade, and this behavior is very concerning. He's always the first one to call if he's a minute late. So strange about this particular case because it's not a guy that, you know, go out, so, you know, parties or whatever, he's a, you know, especially a hard worker. The native Italian is not married and does not have children. His twin brother, who is also a chef for Cipriani in London, is flying to New York now to help in the search. The family distraught. He talks to his mom every day in Italy, and all of a sudden uh, his mom calls me Monday asking me where his son is. His passport is still inside his apartment. He's here on a work visa. That's his only documentation he has. So how could he you know, be going anywhere without his passport? Now, we spoke to one of the chef's roommates in Queens, and he had recently moved into that apartment, so the roommate said he didn't know him very well. But everyone else that we've spoken to say the chef is normally very reliable and always on time, and police are asking for anyone who may have information on his whereabouts to give them a call immediately. We are live outside Grand Central Terminal. Natalie Dudridge, CBSN New York. Natalie, thank you.